What's going on you guys? So if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and comment as well as subscribing and pressing the post notification bell so that way you're notified every time I drop a video. I will be getting more active on YouTube and if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at TheRealVC2. You can like my most recent post and follow me as well as I love connecting with you guys. So today I'm talking about blind brushing. Blind brushing is simply where you're just brushing and you're not using a mirror. But the only way you can blind brush is if you know your angles without looking in the mirror. So right now, I'm blind brushing, but I'm not using the mirror. And most OG waivers, they will be like, hey, do not blind brush. It's a bad thing to do. But blind brushing is actually just getting a quick little brush session. But the way to make it effective is to stay away from your crown area. The more you stay away from your crown area, the easier your sessions will be. You can touch your crown. But there's also a chance that you can mess up your crown and you'll be spending tons and tons of hours trying to get your crown back together. So I will show you guys an example of what blind brush it is. Right here, I'm not even looking at the mirror, but I'm brushing. The key, staying away from my crown right here. This is my crown. So I'm just gonna stay away from it. Just look, brush around it. Boom. I'm shifting my waves, so I'm in the process. I'm shifting my waves, so I'm in the process of switching my angles. So I know a general base for my angles, but since I'm not directly going towards my crown or trying to get as precise as possible. I'm just trying to brush my hairs real quick, lay it down. So if you're in the car on the way to work, boom, you got a brush, you can brush out the forks right there. Brush the same spot over and over. Right here, over and over, that's all you gotta do. I'm not even looking at your crown, but boom, I just got in a whole brush session right there. It only took two minutes, but that's a quick session you can get throughout the day to continuously lay your hair down. Then when you come home, get off work, whatever, you use the mirror and get in another session. But you're constantly brushing your hair, which is gonna keep it laid, it's gonna keep the moisture going through your hair, and boom. You'll be making a lot of progress, especially for beginner waivers. Most people tell you don't blind brush, trust me, don't blind brush, just have a general idea of what you want for your hair to look like, your waves to look like, and just get to brushing. Especially once you see little ripples start forming, just get the brushing. Or if you see a fork, like right here, I got a fork right there. So if I'm blind brushing, boom. I can be sitting in class, could be on the way to work, it really doesn't matter, but I'm getting this fork out, as well as making progress with the rest of my waves, as I'm just chilling and brushing. I'm not even looking at a mirror, it's quite simple, but you're getting in a quick little session. I'm not even looking at, at the back of my head right now, but I have a general idea of what I have for a pattern and what I'm aiming for. And then while you're blind brushing, you're getting in the session, but once you get home, you're able to get a comb and comb through with the mirror to break the forks even more. And then once you shower, your hair is wet, you're able to control it even more. So once you're able to control it, using combing, using blind brushing and washing styles, you'll be making a lot more progress than you have before. But if you like this method, guys, try it out. Just try it out for a week, two weeks, and watch how much progress you make from the beginning to the end. If you like this video, please leave a like and comment down below. I'll say that subscribe button right there, plus that notification bell. If you're new to the channel, thank you for viewing. If you're old, you already know what to do. It's the boy VC, and we out.